Hi there! In our quick lesson today, we're going to look at making an augmented reality book scene. So you're going to make a scene from your favourite book come to life in the world around you, using just your iPad. We're going to do this by following five quick and easy steps. First up, we're going to use the Keynote application to make a new blank template to do your drawing on. Then we're going to draw the different characters and objects from our particular book scene, and then we're going to import those into the app called AR Maker. In AR Maker, we're then going to have a look at how we can position, rotate and resize objects, and then we're going to place them in the world around us, maybe on your desk, or on the carpet, or on the floor in your classroom. Then finally, we're going to use the record feature in AR Maker to do a guided tour of our book scene. It might be you record a book review, or maybe describing the scene, or maybe find another way to bring it to life. That's part up to you. But all being well, by the end you'll create your own interactive and augmented reality scene, just like this. I can interact with the objects by moving my iPad around the scene, and I can do commentary and talk about it at the same time. I've done some characters from The Hungry Caterpillar, and I'm going to include those as well as a downloadable pack in case you want to get started extra quickly. If not, don't worry, you can draw your own characters, your own objects, and make this completely yours. The tools you're going to need to complete this lesson are an iPad, running Keynote and the AR Maker app, both for free. And if you've got a Logitech crayon or an Apple Pencil, that's even better. But if not, you can draw with your finger or you can use the shapes built into Keynote as well. So that's an optional extra for this activity. What are we waiting for? Here we go. In the Keynote app, we're going to press the plus button in the top corner to create a new document. And we're going to choose to create a blank theme. So tap on theme, tap on the blank page, and then you're going to tap and hold to drag a box around the text boxes and tap delete. Now you've got a blank slide with nothing on it. For our drawing to be best, we're going to make our slide a square shape today. So press the three dots in the top corner and then go down to document setup. From here, you're going to tap onto slide size at the bottom and you're going to choose square. Press done and that will resize your canvas to a square page. And if you create any new slides later on, there'll be squares as well. Feel free to take a pause if you need to while you're getting everything ready to go. And when you're ready, we'll start step number two. All right, let's start adding some content to our blank slide. Now, depending on what book you've chosen, you're going to be drawing objects and scenery from a particular part of that book. If you've drawn Harry Potter, for example, you might want to draw his wand or his broomstick. Maybe you want to do the golden snitch. If you're doing Alice in Wonderland, perhaps you're going to draw the Cheshire Cat. I'm doing the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, I could very easily use some of the shapes built into Keynote here if I didn't have access to drawing tools. So I could press the plus button, go onto my Shapes browser, and then search for Apple. I can then recolor this and make it look just as I want it to be. But I'm going to use my crayon and do some drawing, so I'll delete that, and I'm going to tap my stylus onto the screen. From here, we can use the drawing tools at the bottom. Hopefully, you're familiar with those already. I'm going to use the black pen to draw an outline and then the paint tube to fill the color. Now, the artwork from The Very Hungry Caterpillar is quite interesting because it's not just flat, plain color. And I can replicate that using the crayon tool on that toolbar at the bottom. So I've done a red apple. If I choose the crayon and then choose different colors that go with the red, perhaps some greens and browns as well, and just kind of scribble over it with my crayon tool, I can then go back to the original red color and scribble on top of that to create a sort of layered effect where I've got lots of texture in that digital image. When I finish drawing, I'll press done in the top corner, and then I need to remember one really important step. Right now, this page has got a white background, and if I put that straight into AR Maker, we'd have white squares all over the place and it would look rubbish. So press the three dots in the top corner, go down to slide background, then we're going to select no fill. Your background will go black, and later on you'll come to see that's actually transparent. Now it's time for you to get creative, so take your time and do as many different objects from your book as you need to. Press the plus button to create a new slide, scroll down to a blank slide, and then repeat this process over and over again until you've drawn all of your elements. You don't need to spend eight hours here doing this, but maybe if you try and aim for six or seven different objects, that will look really great. Think about scenery as well, for example, a tree perhaps, or some grass, and maybe the book characters as well. When you've drawn all of your images, we're then going to export them as PNGs. So tap the three dots in the top corner, go down to export, and then choose images. On the next screen, make sure you've got PNG selected, and make sure you've turned on transparent backgrounds as well. Press export, and then you want to save all those images to your Photos app. You're going to need some time to complete that last step, I know it. So please do pause the video now, and we can move on when you're ready. 
All right, let's jump into AR Maker. So we're going to start a new document by pressing Start, then the plus button, and then Start again. We should now see the view from our camera on the iPad, and the app is going to start looking for a flat surface to build our world on. I've got this table here, but you can use any flat surface, from a desk to a chair to the floor, even a book cover should do the job. Tap on the area you want to become your workspace, and then on the left hand side, we're going to add some new images that we've just created into our app. It's really simple to do this. You're going to press the new button, and then we're going to press the folder icon. This will open up the Photos app, and you can choose each of your images. You have to do it one at a time, which takes a few moments, but it's fairly quick. I'll start with the caterpillar. On the next screen, you're going to press the tick button to confirm you're happy with that picture. And then on the screen after that, you can do a few different options if you want to. These will transfer your flat images into 3D objects, but really, as you can see, it doesn't work for my images. You might want to explore this later on yourself to see if any of your images do look good as like a 3D sphere or a cube, but for me, I want them flat and 2D. So I'm going to press the tick on the left hand side this time, and now on the home page of the app, you should see the little caterpillar on the side. Remember, if you want to use the images that I've created already, you can scan the QR code down below, and that'll take you to a Google Drive document with all those images in, so you can get started really quickly. If not, please do use your own artwork for this. I'm now going to repeat that process for all of the images that I've drawn. Tap the new button, tap the folder to open up the photos picker, tap on the image, press the tick once, press the tick again, and go back to the home page to check it's loaded. Repeat, 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 get all of your images loaded in, and then we're going to be able to start moving on to the next step. Take as long as you need here to make sure all of your images are imported, and when you're ready to move on, press the play button and we'll start step number four. Right, it's time for my favourite part of this lesson. We're going to start building our augmented reality world using our own artwork. So I'm going to tap onto one of the objects I've loaded. We'll start with the tree, and that will then appear on my screen and on the table as well. You can use two fingers here to pinch and zoom to make objects bigger and smaller. And as you move your iPad camera around, you'll notice the perspective changes anyway as they get closer to or further away from where you are. Tap on it to place where you want it to go by pressing the place button, and then you can add more objects to your scene. I'm going to add a couple more trees, and then I'll add some grass as well to really build out my scene. Time now to bring in my caterpillar. I'm going to place him right at the front there, hiding in the grass. And then I'm going to add all of my different fruit as well. I'm going to hide it around the scene so we can then explore that later on together. Add as much as you want here, be really creative, explore, move your iPad around to look from different angles. You're now creating your own augmented reality world. It's cool, isn't it? Please do take as long as you need here. It's a really fun step and I'd hate for you to have to rush it. I'll be waiting here when you're ready. Finally, we can start step number five, and you're going to tap the record button on the right hand side. At this point, you can then record everything on your screen, and you can talk at the same time. Just like this. The very hungry caterpillar was out exploring in the forest, trying to find what fruit he can locate. Around him are big, strong apple trees. And on the ground, there's an apple. When you're done, simply tap the stop button, and that will automatically save your video into the Photos app. You might get a prompt at this point asking if it's okay to save your photos and videos, just press allow. And then if we swipe out of that app and open the photo album, you'll see your video in there ready to go. You've now created your own augmented reality book scene, you've brought that book to life, and hopefully you've had great fun narrating and commentating on what you've made at the end. Let's just take a brief moment to reflect now on what we've done. We've used the Keynote app, we've learned to change our slide size, we've learned about transparent backgrounds, and we've used the drawing tools to create objects and characters from our favourite book. We've then used the AR Maker app to import those images, to create our own augmented reality scene, and then to record a journey through that augmented reality world. That's pretty good going, isn't it, for one lesson? Well done, you. Hopefully by now you've made something you're really proud of. I really, really wish I could see what you've done. If you're able to, though, you can always share what you've made on Twitter using the Quick Lessons hashtag, on my Instagram at Jacob Walcock, or however else you want to. I'd love to know in the comments below how you got on with this activity. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. There are loads more coming, and there are more Quick Lessons on my channel waiting for you now.